The Football Association has charged Charlie Austin with making an abusive gesture as he left the field when substituted during Southampton's loss to Manchester City. In short, they are going to punish him, possibly even with a two-game ban, for flicking a V-sign at taunting, visiting supporters. It will be justice for those poor, poor fans who must have been appalled and deeply hurt that Austin responded to their goading by raising a couple of digits. Imagine their suffering, their pain. Win £25,000 for free with FOOTIE 5 click here to play he deserves all that is coming to him. Throw away the key. Just like on Iamory deserve the 8 grand fine for the heinous crime of kicking a water bottle. In the meantime, folks, let's move on from John Joe Shelby's assault on Paul Pogba. Nothing to see here. Well, actually, there was something to see, but Andre Mariner saw it, made a mess of his decision, and Shelby has got away with one of the worst crimes of the season so far. He will play on, while Austin will probably be banned. Sympathy for Pogba might not be too easy to gather. He took a spot of retribution, very much had the last laugh, and posted a picture on social media of him showing his upper thigh to Shelby with the accompanying words, caption this is. Presumably, this was not the sort of mistake which led to the other caption this is post which accompanied Jose Mourinho's sacking. Pogba was not at his best against Newcastle, but his performances under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer have been good. That is a credit to both him and Solskjaer but it also says a touch about his contribution to the cause in Mourinho's latter days. But whatever your take on Pogba, the indisputable fact is that he was the victim of a horrible challenge at St James Park that, apart from the award of a free kick, went unpunished. The mantra from the Football Association has been drum into us for years and years. They do not want to re-referee football matches. We get it. Yet that stance has softened slightly in the case of simulation. Remember when Anthony Taylor watched Scott Dan and Elmer Nias come together during Everton's 2-2 draw at Crystal Palace last season? He gave a penalty, the FA re-refereed the incident and Nias was banned for two games. It was decided the referee had been deceived. Mariner was not deceived by Shelby, he just got it spectacularly wrong. The FA would probably talk about dangerous precedents and question where it would stop. If they retrospectively punished Shelby, would they, for example, be compelled to upgrade a ballet doubter's yellow card for his ugly challenge on Ryan Frazier? Not necessarily. If there is inconsistency and some assailants escape punishment, so be it. Surely it would be better to right some injustices rather than none at all. Football news straight to your inbox never want to miss the latest transfer news or match reports. 
we've got newsletters sending you the latest from the football world, or, more specifically, for Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United, FC Barcelona and Real Madrid. Sign up here to receive stories straight to your inbox. And it was an injustice that Shelby escaped a red card on Wednesday and will be free to repeat the offence anytime soon. Next time, it could cause serious injury. Meanwhile, kick a bottle, give taunting fans just a little bit back, even post an out-of-line tweet, as Robert Huth once famously did, and you are up before the beat. Governing discipline in football is a thankless task, but it has to be easier than this.